Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five shots fired into this house. The scariest part, Jennifer's 13-year-old son was sitting right inside. Yes, as Sam just said, you need to have these to be safe. I have my glasses, I am ready. They are handing these out here at the Great Lakes Science Center today. The postal worker managed to get the woman's keys. He went to a neighbor and asked them to call 911. Yeah, this all happened about a half an hour ago. We're just outside of 30th and Cedar. Now, what police tell us was, is that several people were shot. You can see them working this scene behind me. They have the yellow crime scene tape up. They're talking to neighbors, trying to figure out exactly what happened. Now, we talked to a witness who said a man came in to the courtyard here. He was masked. He had long dreadlocks. Hatch says it's possible for the drones to fall out of the sky. He says the way technology has advanced, it's pretty uncommon. Let this be a lesson. Now, the family tells me they think lightning struck this tree, then it went up the driveway, boosted up the car, then continued on into their house. It made me scream. It was the loudest sound I've ever, ever heard. It sounded like a bomb went off. Donna Bloxage bolted out of her bed at 2.15 this morning when lightning struck her tree. We looked outside and we saw the car lights were on. It sounded like the engine was running. We thought, how could you know that possibly be? So we came outside and saw the airbag was uh, deployed and sort of saw there was quite a bit of damage. The cement in her driveway popped up like popcorn. The current was so strong, firefighters told Donna it likely blew the car off the ground, slamming it back down so hard the tire blew. It made everything sort of explode, even you know down farther in, on both ends of the driveway. Um, it took out our garage door opener. A water main just at the edge of the driveway also blew. No one can say for sure if it was related, but Cleveland Water tells me it has never happened before, and they're looking into it. The current also spread into Donna's home. I saw a little part of the front room carpet had started burning. And the lightning strike was so powerful, it actually blew out some of the outlets and light switches. You can see the charred marks from where it burned the wiring. It could have started a fire, uh, and that would have been devastating. Yeah, the family tells me they are really lucky it wasn't any worse. Of course, now they'll have insurance adjusters and electricians stop by the house, and they've also had neighbors stop by, drop off bottled water, and check in on them just to make sure they're okay. Getting answers, Lacey Chris, Cleveland 19 News. Near that standoff, I knew you are being kept a certain distance away for obvious reasons, but Lacey, uh, fill us in on what you know. Yeah, and actually they just moved us back not too long ago, uh, about another block away from where the house actually is. If you can see uh, down the street, the SWAT team, U.S. Marshals, Cleveland Police have all been on the scene a little over three hours. Now, they are looking for Tommy Griffin III. He is a former Cleveland police officer. He was arrested back in January for assaulting, kidnapping, and raping a woman. He is set to go on trial on Monday, but on Saturday, he cut his GPS ankle monitor and hasn't been seen since. Now, I spoke with his daughter yesterday. He was staying with her, and when she left for work on Saturday afternoon, she said she talked to him. He said he was going to make pierogies for dinner, so she had no clue that he was going to take off. She said his car was still in the parking lot of her apartment when she got the call saying, hey, do you know where your dad is? His GPS monitor had just been cut. Fast forward to today, about 11 o'clock, we got a call from the U.S. Marshal saying that they had a house surrounded. Potentially, Griffin was inside. Now, on scene, we have been able to hear here uh, from the bullhorn police saying, you know, come out with your hands up. Can you at least come to the window, wave, let us know that you're okay. We don't know for sure that he is inside, but they do have this house surrounded. And I can tell you, there are a handful of schools in this area. They have all been placed on lockdown. There are police officers at those schools. Parents have been notified to make sure that they know what is going on and that all of the students are safe at this time. But again, we have the U.S. Marshals. We have the Cleveland SWAT team surrounding this house, hopefully trying to bring out a former Cleveland police officer, Tommy Griffin III.